Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. To hear about the classes I've been loving lately, stay tuned to the end of the video. Hello, my friend. Welcome back to What's Up in Makeup. Lots is up in makeup, actually. Lots and lots up in makeup, including Kat Von D reacting to the second, third rebranding of KVD. Vegan Beau, vegan helping others kind, I don't know, I lost track. But there's a new rebranding and Kat is not happy about it. So we're gonna talk about that. There's also lots and lots of brand collabs, but they're not necessarily collabing with people. They're more collaborating with other brands. It's very interesting and movies and TV shows and there's a lot happening there. And Anastasia Beverly Hills is fulfilling on a huge, huge, huge promise that they promised back in 2020. So if you're interested in those stories and so, so much more, hang tight. We're jumping into that right now. Let's start with a discussion over Kat Von D Beauty, KVD Vegan Beauty, KVD Beauty, whatever they're gonna call it, let's start there. If you are not familiar, Kat Von D Beauty was started by Kat Von D and then sold to Kendo, which is a Sephora brand that was the parent company. She just sold all of her shares back in 2020. Now she said it was because she was just uber busy. She had all these other projects going on. So she just didn't really have time for KVD Beauty anymore. A lot of people on the outside speculated that it really wasn't because of that. It was probably due to dropping sales due to some scandals she was involved in, including accusations of anti-Semitism and also a post she had made about that she wasn't vaccinating her newborn baby. But no matter what the cause was, Kat was out and now Kendo was dealing with this KVD thing. What were they gonna do with the acronym KVD? They decided to name it KVD Vegan Beauty and that stood for kindness, vegan beauty, plus discovery and doing good and everybody was thoroughly confused. <laughs> like, how? How does that even make sense? I mean, it's nice, but it doesn't make any sense. So this week they're taking another stab at it and they're rebranding again. And now it's standing for something else Cara, Veritas, and Decora, which translated means value, truth, and beauty. Of course, me being the geek that I am, I had to look it up in a Latin dictionary. Uh, so I did latindictionary.net, and basically it seems like Veritas and Decora do, you know, translate to what they want it to mean, but it seems like Cara is a little bit different. It doesn't necessarily mean like a good value, like I think that maybe what they're trying to say, but it's more of like, high priced is is what it translates to or precious or dear or beloved so i don't know when i think of value and i think of cosmetics like you're getting a good value it doesn't seem to translate to that it's more of this stuff's expensive which i don't think really fits kvd beauty but i mean it's better than the last one okay let's give them credit there They've also hired Swedish-born tattoo artist Miriam Lumpini. She's been named as the new global director of tattoo artistry. So in the comments of a recent Instagram post that Kat posted, she was asked specifically what she thought of the rebranding, and this is what she said, quote, I have absolutely nothing to do with that brand, and to be honest, wish they'd change the name altogether already so I wouldn't be associated with it, and then a little heart emoji. So I think what we're learning from this and other brands is that it may be better to not name a brand after yourself when it comes down to it. We've seen it with Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. She left the brand and they're still using Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, but Bobbi Brown isn't any part of it at all. So if they release something, her name is still attached. And I think when people think KVD, I know I still sometimes default to Kat Von D, but she hasn't been associated with the brand for a while. Honestly, I don't blame her for not wanting to be associated with it because she's not involved in the decision making of it anymore. So if anything goes bad with the brand, people may still blame her even though she's not associated. I'd love to know what you think on this. Do you think that it's a good idea to keep the KVD or do you think they should have just rebranded altogether but then just kept like the tattoo theme? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Now we have a bunch of collab items for you and they're so interesting. I felt like they needed a place 
in top news, not just the product report. We're gonna start with the one that, well, I'm excited about all of them, but this one really threw me for a loop. Elf Cosmetics and Chipotle. They did do a collab before around this time last year, and this is round two. The one from last year sold out, according to Elf, in less than four minutes. So this is the new collab that I would imagine would sell out pretty quickly as well. Who would think Burrito Bowl inspired makeup would be so popular? <laughs> but apparently it is. So it's a four product collection inspired by their burrito bowl. The products are priced between $8 and $18 and they include a red hot salsa inspired lip gloss, a two piece avocado shaped makeup sponge set, so incredibly cute, a palette arranged like a Chipotle counter and a makeup bag that looks like their brown chip bag. And as a bonus, if you get the eyeshadow palette, you get a coupon for a free chips and guac at Chipotle. The collection launches on March 9th and you can sign up to be notified when they launch on ELF's website. I will link it down below for you. Products will also be available at chipotlegoods.com, I think on March 10th. But if you are not interested in this makeup, but you do love Chipotle, they're actually doing a collab at Chipotle as well, not just on ELF's site. For a limited time, they're going to have an all vegan eyes, chips, face bowl. It's available March 10th through the 17th at Chipotle locations. They didn't say specifically whether it was all Chipotle locations or just select ones. The bowl was curated by iconic drag queens, Trixie Mattel and Kim Chi. And they say it quote, celebrates the dual commitment of Elf and Chipotle to support plant-based lifestyles and responsibly sourced products. This is the first time Chipotle has ever introduced an item in collaboration with another brand. If you wanna see more about this, Trixie Mattel is gonna have a video supposedly up on March 10th. It's a mukbang with kimchi. They're going to be eating the bowl. They're going to be doing their makeup with the elf stuff. It should be amazing. I cannot wait for that to come out. Now, I am not a Chipotle person, but if you are, how excited are you for this collection? One to 10. Do you think you're going to buy it though? One to 10 chance. Let me know in the comments. The next collab has to do with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Prince Hakeem from Coming to America. He's one of my favorite characters of any movie of all time. I also love Oma Beauty and they did a Coming to America 2 collection to go with the launch of the movie that launched just a couple of days ago. It's an exclusive collection priced from $18 to $44 inspired by Zamunda, which is the country that Prince Hakeem, it's a fictional country that they come from, but it was created with real African queens and royalty in mind. There's nine pieces, including three eyeshadow palettes, three lipsticks, two lip liners, and a highlighter palette. The Royal Heritage color palette contains 10 different shades representing 10 royal queens from ancient Africa in both shimmer and matte formulas. The print on the lipsticks, let's just take a moment to appreciate. So gorgeous. Oh my gosh. All right. On the UMA website, founder and CEO of UMA Beauty, her name is Sharon Tudor. She said, quote, as we celebrate this groundbreaking and iconic movie coming to America and the long awaited sequel, I want to take everyone on a journey to the magical world of Africa and the untold stories of royalty, courage, opulence, resilience, pride, and heritage. This is my most personal collection to date. It is my ode to my culture and most of all, an ode to the black skin beauty for she is the mother of all beauty. It is available now on Oma Beauty's website and will soon be available at websites for Ulta, Nordstrom, Walmart, and Beautylish. Two more collabs. This next one, I admit, I am not familiar with. Marvel is just not my thing. I've never seen Endgame. I tried to watch it and I could not get into it. It was so boring. I, I don't <laughs> no. Unsubscribe. We're here to talk about the WandaVision makeup collection. It is an Ulta collaboration with WandaVision. It's nine products to highlight makeup trends of past decades is what they say. There's dramatic eyeshadow from the 80s and heavy eyeliner of the 90s. Products are priced between $10 and $28. They include a five piece brush set, lip balm, lip gloss, Gloss, brow kit, a blush palette, three mini eyeshadow palettes, and an eyeliner duo. The entire collection is going to be available online and in stores at Ulta beginning on March 14th. Have you seen WandaVision? Is it worth me watching? Like, I don't know anything about Wanda or Vision or any of this stuff. Like, will I get it? 
Or is it, I'm just going to sit there and go, I don't know what's happening. Please let me know. Because if it's good, if you think I'm going to like it, I will totally give it a chance. Don't tell me to watch Endgame because I, I no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> this is the one that had me kind of scratching my head a little bit. Coach and Sephora. Totally makes sense as far as the coach would collab with Sephora, but it's the products that are a little interesting. Okay, so the most of the products feature their mascots, the coach mascots, Rexy, Sharky, and Uni. The collection includes two eyeshadow palettes. They're six pan eyeshadow palettes. They're $38 each. Then there's a face palette. There's only three pans in it, and it's also $38, which I think is kind of weird. There's a brush set that's really pretty. It's got a stand with detachable charms, but it's $68. There's a high shine lip gloss set with four berry shades infused with peppermint oil. Those are $36. And I'm mask set infused with cucumber and rose, $16. And then there's a nail set and that includes neutral pale pink shade, a clear top base coat and nail stickers. That's $18. All three palettes from the collection double as bag charms. Now I looked on Sephora's website and someone actually posted a photo of the eyeshadow palette used as a bag charm. Sephora brand eyeshadows are kind of hit and miss, but I definitely don't think that they're worth that price point. I don't know about these, maybe they reformulated them, you know, to be amazing. Maybe we're just, you know, let's be real. We're probably paying for the coach name if we're purchasing these. And the other question I have is if you're hanging this on the outside of your bag, aren't the shadows going to break? Like, I don't know. This is just, I don't know about this. I don't know. This next story made me very, very happy to see Anastasia Beverly Hills gifted eight $450,000 grants to black owned businesses. Hello, editing Jen here. I realized as I was editing that the math here just does not make sense. I figured it out. It's $450,000 divided by the eight different brands. So I wanted to make sure that was clear. Now back to the video. It will also give them direct access to bankers at Wells Fargo who will provide dedicated support and training. And this is the end of the fulfillment of the $1 million commitment the ABH set back in June of 2020 to fight systemic issues that face the black community. Besides this, ABH has also donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to the Innocence Project, the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, Black Visions Collective, the Marshall Project, and Black Lives Matter. So let's talk about the winners so that you know who to look out for. We have Mary Louise Cosmetics. They are a natural and vegan skincare line named after the founder's grandmothers. 54 Thrones Beauty is a skincare brand based in African beauty rituals. They've been honored as part of Oprah's favorite things in the past. Shea Yaline Beauty is an organic fair trade shea butter supplier, paying five times Ghana's minimum wage and access to health insurance for their employees. Amazing. Now this one is very close to me, so close to my heart. I was like, oh, Paula Brown Performing Arts Center. It's a ballet studio in Prince George's County, Maryland, which is where my grandmother lived and where my mother grew up is in Prince George's County. So I thought that was really cool just because it was very close to home. Now this one I couldn't find the website on, but hopefully there'll be a place where you can purchase these soon. Heritage Socks. They focus on representing the black community in the world of sock culture, which I didn't know existed. They work with registering voters and working with homeless populations. Then we have Anne's Apothecary. They're a provider of mineral rich, all natural skincare products. They're based in North Carolina. And then finally, the Nourish Spot Juice Bar based in Jamaica, Queens, New York, providing customers with access to fresh produce in food deserts. So great job to ABH, uh, all those wonderful donations. I'm so excited to see where these brands go next. And finally, I like to include an environmental piece. So let's talk about Ulta Beauty launching reusable packaging in partnership with a company called Loop. Now, Loop is part of TerraCycle. It's kind of an offshoot project from TerraCycle. What they do is they take popular products and they repackage them in a way that you can put them in a bag and then send the packaging back and they will clean it and then reuse it. It's kind of like back in the day, if you ever 
heard of or maybe even remember when a milkman came to your house. I don't know how long ago that was, but you paid a deposit on the, the glass bottles and then the milkman would come, they would pick up your glass bottles and you would get your money back for the glass bottles. I remember that in college, there was a place that had beer like that where you could like fill it up from the keg and then when you brought your, your what was it called? It was called a growler. When you brought your growler back, you would get your deposit back. Same kind of concept. So you pay a couple extra dollars up front, you put it in their loop tote, and then you schedule a pickup to your home. Pickup is free and it's available in the United States, Canada, and the UK. They're also in the process of expanding internationally, including Germany, Australia, and Japan. The only downside I see of this right now is just that there's just such limited number of products available. I will link the direct link to the Ulta Loop website so you can check out what products are there and look into it if it's something you wanna try yourself. All right, my friend, lots of fun products came out this week. Let's start with our indie brands, Makeup Maniacs. The Candy Chrome series has launched at least most of them. There's $30 each though, which is really expensive. They're beautiful, but they're very expensive. There's currently five shades in their Candy Chrome series, but there are more coming soon. Terra Moons has three new shadows, Hydra, Purple Clouds, and Comet. Pre-orders are open until March 19th. Half Caked released their Candy Paint Bronzers. They're $9 each in six shades from Fair to Deep. And I love the picture that they put up on their website of the shades so that you could decide which bronzer would be right for you. Cara Beauty. They're coming out with more stuff already. I had never even heard of them before a couple of weeks ago when somebody put it into the Hunter's Group and now they've got more things. This is the Blissful Collection. Three palettes, they're $17.99 each. We have Beyond the Sky, Never Ending Paradise, Never Ending Paradise. Oh. Sorry, I lost it for a second. And the last one is called Escape the Ordinary. Another one I've never heard of before that was dropped into the Hunter's Group. It's Still Cosmetics, I think, Steel still S-T-Y-L, the Going Green palette. They say it is, quote, dedicated to nature enthusiasts all over the world. The packaging is recyclable and part of the proceeds will be donated to the Environmental Defense Fund. It's $25. Absolute New York has a new lash collection out. There's 35 new darling lash styles with three pairs in each box and they're only $4.99 a pack, which I thought was crazy. These will be featured in our PR or purchased of the week, the Sigma On The Go eyeshadow palette. They're six nine pan palettes or $29 each, or you can get a bundle of all six for $139, which saves you $35. So that's basically getting a palette and more for free. If you get all of them, they'll be available on March 9th on Sigma's website. Two nail polish launches, one from Christine over at Simply Nail Logical, Hollow Taco Unicorn Dream, three new iridescent unicorn skin flaky toppers, and two creme polishes in a limited edition collector's box. You can buy them individually for $13, or you can get the whole collection for $60, and you'll save a dollar on each polish. And then we have Sally Hansen collabing with Mentos. Now, why didn't I put this in top news? Well, there's a reason. <laughs> a limited edition bright and pastel shades in the Instagram dry sweet treats for spring collection in shades that the fresh maker Confection Perfection, You're the Zest, Orange, You a Peach. Those are some of the names of the shades. They say they're available at Target, but they're not available at Target online. It doesn't look like it's online at all. And they're not answering their questions on Instagram. So I don't know what they cost. I don't know where you can buy them. I don't know if you can buy them. So I think that's a major fail on this class part. Like, why would you do that? Why would you go through the trouble of collabing and then not making it very apparent where they can be purchased? I don't understand what's going on there. In honor of National Women's Day, Ciate has launched the Woman Power Palette. It's available now for $45. This I thought was very smart and it does not surprise me that Scandinavia is the one that thought of it. The Maskne Control Spray. Quote, using many natural and scientifically proven ingredients, we set out to attack harmful bacteria, excess oil production, inflammation, and general skin irritation due to wearing a face mask. Very smart. $29. Now this is a very elusive palette. I was gonna mention it last week, but I was hoping by this week we would have more information. We don't. <laughs> the Natasha Denona Circle Loco palette. Apparently it's been seen in some Sephora stores. Maybe that was an oopsie. 
by some of the stores. I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be available online. There's no hint of it on Natasha Denona's socials. There is a woman named Anna Reed Lifestyle. That's her YouTube channel. I'm sure Lifestyle is not her last name. She has a review she put up on February 27th. She purchased it at Sephora in store. So if you wanna see more about it, that's where you can see more about it. Maybe we'll find out more by next week. And if you're feeling a little bougie and you've got some money to throw around, Hermes Spring 2021 collection has now launched three new lipstick shades in Coral Aqua, Rose Oasis, and Beige Iboule. How did I do? French speakers. Iboule. I don't know, I tried. $72 each. And for extra fun, if you want, you can pick up one of their hand-sewn lipstick cases for $340 to go with it. Another very interesting choice of a launch, Makeup Forever's Water Skin Foundation. They say it is a good for skin formula, natural fresh finish, and no transfer guarantee. They also claim it's sweat proof and humidity proof. Looks like there's 20 shades available. When asked if this would be good for dry skin in the Instagram comments, Makeup Forever said that they definitely recommend it more for normal to oily skin types. It is not available in the US or Canada yet. It is available right now in China, South Korea, and the Middle East. It is is launching later this month in Northeast Asia and North America, and then it's launching in Europe, Russia, and Southeast Asia in April. Another cute collab, this one is water and makeup eraser. Makeup Eraser is collabing with water. They're donating 10% of proceeds to Charity Water. It's a nonprofit organization bringing clean and safe drinking water to people in developing countries. In 2019, they raised over $56 million for clean water projects. It is $20 on the Makeup Eraser site right now. Moving over to ColourPop, because we always have something from ColourPop most weeks, the Cheek Dew Serum Blush was launched. There's $7 each, or you can get two of them for $12. There are plenty of reviews on YouTube if you're interested in them from the people who got them. In PR, there are nine shades available. Moving over to Juvia's Place, the Nubian Pencil Liner is $10, four shades. I absolutely love the purple packaging on this, absolutely gorgeous. And then the Royal Blue shade is incredibly stunning, just absolutely beautiful. Reminds me of the old school Urban Decay liners, but at a much less cost. Juvia's Place is notorious for coming out with really, really great quality products. So I would be surprised if they weren't even better than those. And then BH Cosmetics released their Birthstone palette for Marsh. The Aquamarine palette is now available on their website, $9. They also have the February and January palettes available as well. Moving over to Sephora, Fenty has released the Body Sauce Luminizing Tint $48, seven shades. They call it a blurring, lightweight, and subtly luminizing body tint with a silky texture that's transfer and sweat resistant. I don't know about you, but I have enough trouble getting makeup here. <laughs> I, I wear pants in the summertime because I don't want anybody to see my legs. That's just a lot of work for me to put makeup all over my body. Do you use body makeup? What's been your experience with it? Are you interested in this product? I'm very curious. Maybe I'll buy something like this and actually wear shorts this summer. Maybe, possibly, I doubt it though. Beauty Blender has launched their Bounce Soft Focus Gemstone Setting Powder, $32. There's five shades available, light coverage, natural finish. They say it's super blurring, sets makeup and absorbs oil without drying or caking. And this I thought was interesting and completely missed. Tarte apparently has rebranded their Rainforest of the Sea line to just be called Sea. When did this happen? I completely missed it. It probably happened six months ago. I missed it, but there are some new products in the C line. We have the Glotion Skin Perfector Primer, $32. They say it's an all over perfector and primer in one for a lit from within glow. Low. The Sea Breezy Cream Blush, $27, three shades there. The Sea Surfer Curl Waterproof Gel Eyeliner, $20, three shades there. They say it's an ultra precise tip with a built-in sharpener. And then the Sea Hydro Sealer Concealer Brush, $22. They say it pairs perfectly with Tarte's Hydro Sealer Concealer. It feels like they're just kind of filling in the holes of this line where they just needed things and were just missing. 
So sure, now it's a little bit more full of a range. This is a product we featured in Top News a while back. We weren't sure if it was gonna be coming outside of Asia, and now it has. The MAC Black Cherry Collection is now available at Ulta with its gorgeous packaging. So we have the Black Cherry Fix Plus, the Extra Dimension Blush, Lipstick in Three Shades, Glow Play Lip Balm in Three Shades, the Prep and Prime Lip, and the Brush Stroke Liner. Makeup Revolution has also released a few products this week, the Balayage. Balayage brow in three dual ended colorways. You use the lighter shade on the thicker part of your brow to fill and use the darker shade on the tail of your brow to create depth and perfectly diffuse and fluff with a dense brush to complete eight dollars. It's funny how they're using balayage. Balayage. Isn't this what we what everybody does with their brows? I don't know but I love how they're capitalizing on that hair uh the hair trend to market the brow product. Very smart. Next up another trend rehab brow soap and care styler. Eight dollars. They say just like your favorite revolution soap styler but with a hydrating formula. And then the brow rehab care mask they're marketing, I swear. $8 as well, a nourishing brow mask that helps to care for the brow, hairs, and skin area with soothing shea and cocoa butter can be used after microblading or hair removal treatments to help soothe skin. So smart, such smart marketing in my opinion. Well done to Makeup Revolution there. It looks like Urban Decay has revamped their shadow sticks. These were some of the first things I remember reviewing on YouTube back in 2012, 2013, but now they look like traditional eyeshadow sticks instead of big chunky crayons. They're $26 each and there are 13 shades. There's also new 24 seven single eyeshadows over there. I'm not sure how they compare to existing Urban Decay formula, but they are being marketed as new. These look very very cute. The Nilks, this is Milky Gloss Lip Gloss. $8.50, eight shades available online today and in stores on March 21st. They say it's a new generation of hydrating lip gloss infused with vegan milk. So I want to know what the vegan milk is. There's no ingredients over there. What kind of vegan milk are we talking about? Is it almonds? Is it cashews? Is it soy? Like what, what, what are we putting? What is the vegan milk? I have to know. <laughs> I have to know. It says a single swipe delivers a buildable splash of milky color with an ultra glassy shine serving 12 hours of quenching hydration for your lips. And supposedly they have a sweet addictive scent, but I want to know what is the vegan milk? Why you can't just say vegan milk, it could be anything. Maybe they milked all the vegans and put it in the product. <laughs> no, they can't milk vegan. It's vegan milk. They milk the vegans. No, you can't milk the vegans. But something that is not vegan is the Beekman 1802 Milk Primer SPF 35. It's a two-in-one daily defense sunscreen and makeup perfecter. $25 contains goat milk. They say it is totally invisible and fragrance-free sunscreen with SPF 35 that can also serve as a makeup primer. I am so excited for PR purchase of the week. And one of the things I haven't tried yet, I just got it in the mail today. I wanna give a huge congratulation and thank you so much for sending this over. Kendall Ray was kind enough to send me over the Higher Love Wellness Company products to try. This is her brand new brand. If you're not familiar with Kendall Ray, she used to be in the beauty space. She switched over to doing true crime quite a long time ago, but we've been able to stay connected. So I'm just so happy for her. I don't have very much experience with CBD products other than skincare products, but I'm very curious to try it and I'm definitely open to trying it. There is a vape pen in here, which I don't know anything about. So if you know anything about CBD vaping and how that differs from other kinds of vaping, I'm gonna be Googling it and looking it up and also talking to Kendall, looking on her website. But if you have anything you wanna chime in about this, let me know. There's also in here a relief Solve. It is 500 milligrams. This here, these are broad spectrum CBD heart shaped gummies. They are so incredibly cute. I have not tried them yet. Maybe I should try one. I'm just going to try one. They're good. They're very sour, but they're good. That's delish. It just tastes like candy. It tastes like a gummy. I don't know what it's supposed to do. <laughs> I'm so not knowledgeable about this stuff. But I'm excited to continue eating them because they're delicious. There's also CBD drops. I did smell these. I have not tasted them yet. The last time I tried CBD drops, my dad gave me some when my neck was acting up and I was getting really bad headaches, but the taste was very much... They tasted uh, very planty. Let's just say that. These do not smell like that at all. This one is called Pineapple Express. 
and it definitely smells very strongly of pineapple and this one is called girl scout cookie it smells like mint very excited to try these and learn more about cbd but congratulations to kendall thank you so much for sending these over i am excited to try this stuff but i also wanted to show you what i promised you during the product report was to show you the sigma on the go palette so this is the full set if you order it the palettes are behind these little doors here and i did play with them a bit today as i was getting ready i will link the getting ready video down below if you want to see everything else that's on my face today i've mostly used the rosy eyeshadow palette on my lower lash line i did dip into the ritzy palette very much enjoyed using these sigma has done wonderful things advancing their eyeshadow formula really enjoy these a lot i also got a wonderful package from cvs to celebrate their beauty event that's going on right now and i believe it's the entire month of march they sent me a couple of products the shine on my lips is the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss over top of an m cosmetics liquid lipstick the smell on this is like very sweet sugary candy. It smells wonderful and the texture really reminds me of the ABH gloss that I just raved about. The scent is very different but the texture is very similar. It's just very smooth, not heavy but super super shiny glossy. It's a beautiful gloss. I also tried today the Flower Beauty Gel Crush Lip and Cheek. That's what's on my cheeks today. Went on very very nicely. I liked how pigmented it went on and how easy it was to diffuse out. So it's very versatile in that way. Really Really like that very strange how it kind of looks like a little baby deodorant but I'm I'm not hating on that it was very easy to use and then finally the mascara that I tried from CVS this is the Maybelline sky high mascara this I remember talking about in what's if in makeup when I saw this packaging I was like ah oh! so beautiful it really is beautiful it's beautiful in person too now what I noticed with this first impression just using it today opening it fresh today is that it gives a lot of length and it separates the lashes very very well it's got this conical wand here that reminds me of the essence green lash princess but it really separated my lashes very nicely and again lots of length not a lot of volume but very nice so far I'm looking forward to continuing using this Got some notable sales this week. Derm Store is having their semi-annual beauty refresh event, 20% off site-wide. Use code GLOWUP until March 10th. Alamar Cosmetics is having a two for 24 lashes and lips bundle deal. Regular price is $29. There are 23 bundles available. Then we have Makeup Geek mystery boxes. I tried to get in the Huda Beauty mystery boxes, but they're all gone. So the Makeup Geek ones just launched. There are three different sizes. There's a round pan grab bag. You get up to 10 eyeshadow pans for $10. There's a $20 mystery box where you get $40 in product, and there's a $50 mystery box for $75 in product. And if you've never tried Makeup Geek, I am friends with Marlene Estelle, so I am a bit biased, but I do absolutely love their products. Great, great deal over Beauty Blender if you need new Beauty Blenders. Two of them for $33, and then you get a free blender cleanser. Regular price for this is $70, but if you use code electric at website, again, it's only $33. There's a spring forward event over at the Bobby Brown website, up to 40% off on daily offers. They do change daily. There's two progressive sales. One is over at It Cosmetics on their confidence skincare. You're going to save up to 25% off. See their website for details. And the second progressive sale is over at Lancome, but this time you're going to save up to 30% off. At checkout, you're going to use code our treat. This section is starting to become one of my favorite parts of what's in makeup. I think Top Nose is still my favorite, but I think this is a close second. Artist shout out of the week. We're going to be talking about Shelly Pink 23. Her deal seems to be just very crisp, clean, gorgeous, stunning, creative, eye looks. I mean, how many rainbow cut creases have you seen in life? But she has a way of making them creative and different. So this one has that blue glitter in the crease. And then with the pink in the outer corner, like I never would have thought to do that like ever. That's so interesting and very beautiful. The second one, I'm going to call this If Chocolate Were Sparkly. I think it's a good name to call this. Glitter placement, on flip and point just oh, so gorgeous and then this next level day of the dead look like really this i can't even imagine how long that took to create she made this for halloween and it's just incredibly beautiful just i mean i i'm not talking so we can just take a moment just to stare at it <laughs> 
if you would like to follow her, I will put her link down below. And now we're gonna say what Philip DeFranco says and we're gonna take a second and pay some bills and thank our sponsor for this week's episode. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. It is an online platform that makes it easy to learn new skills without having to leave your couch. Since starting on Skillshare, I've learned tips for how to be more productive, how to make an amazing sauce in the kitchen, the best way to take care of my houseplants, and even a class on the basics of TikTok. This week, I wanted to expand on what I learned last time and start getting more creative with my vertical short form video content. I took a class with Halise Narvez called video for Instagram telling engaging stories in less than a minute. The class was only 28 minutes long, but man, did I learn a lot. I learned how to get video ideas from my daily life, use songs as inspiration, how to film jump cuts, and even how to shoot an amazing slow motion video. I can't wait to start using some of her tips combined with what I learned last time from Taylor Lauren. If you'd like to try a class for yourself and you are one of the first 1,000 people to sign up using the link in the description box, you will get a free free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. You can try as many classes as you want, including Halisa's class for free. And then if you like it, you can sign up for a yearly subscription at less than $10 per month. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I hope you love the platform as much as I do. And now back to What's Up in Makeup. And that, my friend, was What's Up in Makeup this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved it as much as I loved making it for you. If you'd like to see the process of how I did all of this, it should still be up on my YouTube stories. You should be able to access it through mobile and you can see from beginning to end what it takes to create What's Up in Makeup. I just did that because it was requested. So if you're interested, it's over there for you. Thank you so, so much to the What's up in makeup Facebook hunters. Their names are scrolling below me. Thank you so much for all of your submissions this week. I appreciate you more than I could ever express. Our chat today is at 10 a.m. Eastern time. If you would like to join us live, would love to have you. But if you can't, if you're sleeping, if you're at a religious service, if you just got stuff to do, it is no problem at all. It's very easy to watch on the replay. You can just go to your subscriptions feed if you are subscribed to the channel or if you're not, you can go over to my channel page and then click on my videos and click on the video titled live chat. Thank you again so, so much for watching. If you would like to hang out a little bit longer, YouTube should be recommending a couple of videos for you right over here to watch. But if it is your time to go, no problem at all. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. Hit the thumbs up button before you head out. Really does help me out so much. Mad love to you and I'll see you in a video very, very soon.